My name is Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. Today's video has been highly requested. It is about Zoom and how you can make those Zoom meetings more effective. And so one way that you can make them more effective is by using remote control. Have you ever been in a situation where it's you and your students and they just need to switch on a setting and they can't figure out where that setting is. So you're like, hey, press the blue button. No, the other blue button. It's the one right there, that one. And you're literally, you wish you could just come through the screen and make them press the right button. But you can't do it because that's not the way computers work. So, to alleviate that frustration and to kind of avoid that, what you can do with Zoom is this feature called remote control. And so with that, you can literally take control of your students or maybe your parents of your class, take control of their computer so that you're the one who is masterminding the mouse. You don't have to tell them, click the blue button. You just click the blue button for them because you control their screen. So if that's something you're interested about, ooh, I love it. I'm like getting passionate, like I'm out of my seat. If that's something you're interested in, Stick around because I'm about to give you a really amazing tutorial like right now. Hey everyone, right now I am in a Zoom call with Giovanni. He's up there. Wave Giovanni, say hello world. So he is with me right now as my partner and he's gonna help me out as I go and show you what remote control looks like in Zoom. So previously I have went, went to my settings and I switched on allow participants to share because in order to make the remote control work, you have to allow your participants to share with you and you do have to turn on the setting to allow remote control to even exist. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask Giovanni, can you go ahead and share your screen with me? I'm wondering what you have on your screen. This will be interesting. Okay. So now what's going to happen, I am going to, at the top of my screen, I can see view options. And so I'm going to click view options. And then I'm going to request remote control. Here we go, request remote control. And it tells me you are about to request remote control of Giovanni's shared content. Do you want it? Yes, I do. Request. And now a box will pop up on his end that will show exactly that. And so right now I am controlling Giovanni's screen. So right now, this is my mouse. I'm moving it around. I can click the X. Let's go out of the Zoom box. Let's see. I can click a new tab. I'm going to go to YouTube. Just so that you can see, here I go. I'm on a new website. And then if I wanted to go off the internet altogether, I can do that. Oops. And now I'll be able to, uh, I want to go back on the internet. This is so much going on here. Here we go. So now I can go in and I can control his settings. I can update his links. I can go through and say, hey, if you want to adjust your settings, this is the way that you do it. And it's really awesome because now I don't have to tell him, hey, click this button, click that button. I can literally do it for him. So now uh, the other thing to note is that Giovanni can also move the mouse. So Giovanni, go ahead and move your mouse. Okay, and so he can also have that control. So now I can kind of tell him, hey, I want you to go and I want you to open up a new tab. So that way I know if he's actually learning what I taught him, there he goes, he's opening a new tab. 
So this is really helpful for your students or your parents whenever you're teaching them how to do certain things. I know at my school, there are a lot of kids that need help with Canvas. And so this is a great way to be able to log in and help them with Canvas. Now, I'm all done sharing Giovanni's screen and showing him everything that I need to show him. So I'm gonna go to View Options and I'm gonna put Give Up Remote Control. I gave it up. And I'm going to stop participant sharing. So now it's just us again. Thank you. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap up this section of the video. And so thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are able to go and take control of somebody else's computer, obviously for good reasons and for good honest educational purposes only take charge of someone else's computer um that's it goodbye